Eat some, baby. What's up with it? What's up with it, everybody? It's your bar RDR, and welcome back to RDR Food Reviews. As you can see at the bottom of the screen today, today we're going to be smashing on some good old Freddy Smash Burgers. That's right. We're going to be having some good old Smash Burgers or Steak Burgers, as Freddy likes to call them, but they Smash Burgers, oh God. But anyway, that's what we're smashing today in today's mukbang video. If you like good social eating or carb food videos, just any type of food smashing action you've come to the right place i'm your host roberto del rio and this is my channel uh don't forget to hit my subscribe button at the bottom hit that notification bell so you can get the latest greatest audio food reviews also check your boy out on instagram roberto del rio 86 before we jump into fretties we're going to give a quick moment of prayer thank you for the food Father, thank you for this food that we're about to receive. Help this food nourish your body, make it strong as a person, strong as a man. And bless those that grow hungry as we pray to please find them something in your holy gracious mind. And we pray. Amen. Love you, Father. All right, now, y'all ready to get into this? It's been a minute since I've messed with Freddy's in a minute. And uh, they have delicious smash burgers cutty like delicious smash burgers this is one of their new ones right here this is the uh pretzel bun uh barbecue smash burger right here this is some of their newest contraptions and you know the, the thing is when it comes to like smash burgers and stuff and the, you know freddy's they like to call their stuff um they like to call theirs uh steak burgers or whatever but the thing is uh Cuddy is that they the only difference is, is theirs is a hundred percent lean in other places when it comes to like like smash burgers or whatever it's the 80 20 which equates the same thing but the point is it is basically a smash burger cutty we are let's get into this mm-hmm Ooh. <laughs> Hit you with that good old E40 action. Ooh. Come <laughs> on, turn it over my damn dashboard. Disregard technical error. Not doing a really good start off of a bang video. <sighs> Refreshing. Right now, Cuddy, I'm in in front of an abandoned abandoned restaurant that completely failed in this region i'm at in like a parking lot of uh highway 55 it was they have good burgers and stuff but it just seems like in this town it just didn't make it mm. what a pity In this cup right here, we got um, we got some cheese curds. It's got a little couple of shoestring fries right here. One thing about Freddy's, man, they fries, they be going hard. Anorexic little things, but they get the job done. Um, this mash burger is good. If that sucker had a lick of smash sauce on it, it probably couldn't be faded. Anyway, these are the cheese curds. Oh, cut! I love cheese curds, and they some of the best in the biz. Buttery. Buttery, milky things right there. Sorry for the little glare. Sorry, I might be smacking in this one right here because you got to suck the butter out of these suckers. Come out, pause. Good old squeaky cheese, man. Cut it. I gotta say something real quick. Colleagues need to stop getting in their feelings 
whenever there is potlucks happening at work. And when niggas don't want to eat your food. Just the illest shit cutting. One day. I'm throwing them off the loop with this one. At work. We had a birth like a like a, a birthday deal. And we all brought some for a colleague that we we admire and we cherish the most. This particular individual This nigga gets in his feelings that nobody touched. <laughs> It's mad that nobody touched this nigga's fruit salad. <laughs> oh, hi. Thanks for checking in. I'm still a piece of garbage. What are you doing? <laughs> nigga, who told you for a birthday? You know what I'm saying? Why would you? Out of all the things you can make for a nigga, you gonna bring fruit salad. You better come up with a plan B because that one ain't gonna work, boy. I think this should sink in real quick. Only thing other than that that could have been worse than that, Cuddy, is like a fruit cake. Trash! I hate fruit cake, nigga. This nigga was hawk eyeing the whole time during lunch, during that period. And kept on doing that thing where a nigga would be like. You know, there's fruit salad up there if you want some. You know what I mean? Cutty. If the birthday girl wasn't touching that shit. What makes you think I was going to touch that shit? I was blunt. Real Cutty on. I'm everything cutting. Telling this nigga, I don't even I don't I don't like fruit salad. I don't really eat that shit. I took a nigga like me, double refreshing, to spark it all up to so to get niggas out that shit be like, yeah, I really don't eat fruit salad. Granted, yeah, I feel bad. But I'm being real. I'm not just gonna eat that I wanna eat. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm being real, nigga. Ain't nobody gonna eat. I, I don't want that shit. Huh. And it, yeah, it's wrong, you know what I mean? I could took a little teaspoon scoop, but I was just going to throw that shit away anyway. I need to start making a comment like, I was up all night, you know, and then I had to go to Walmart late when I got off of work to, to get the stuff to make the fruit salad just so nobody would eat it. nigga is 2024 and you the best thing you can think for a birthday potluck fucking fruit salad bitch this isn't bingo at a old folks home nick i'm sure they would slurp that shit up <laughs> hell yeah they take fruit salad to a nursing home to a birthday and get together this this boy Suck the S out that hoe. <laughs> Not around no grown folks, nigga. No, sir. I don't think so. This is that pretzel, barbecue, bacon, <clears throat> smash burger right here. Ah, oh, damn. Boy, <laughs> oh, that shit tang it in the hoe. that bitch around a no gum zone you them senior citizens will execute that hoe immediately not around niggas that got their 32s nigga 
Not even a nigga minus minus three teeth in their mouth with one fucking. But honestly, that really wasn't really. And for most people, and this was kind of like a confirmed thing. Confirmed without saying without saying. It's because. A phobia. <laughs> I have a phobia of tasting other niggas cooking. Yes. It, it got really nothing to do with race or just gender. It's just it's when you look at somebody, you just know like that is a part of how it makes you want to try people's food. You can look at somebody and be like, and somebody be like, oh, look, it's fruit salad. This fruit salad came from Patty LaBelle. Ah, uh, nigga, I really don't like fruit salad, but you know, you know, Patty, she do, she do keep her nails clean. <laughs> yes, sir. And she make good ass sweet potato pies. So, a nigga would try it. But if a nigga working in the hood all damn day, and I don't even give a damn if he made this, this, this smash burger right here. I don't even care if he did that. If a nigga is under the hood and he make a smash burger like that, nigga, I ain't trying that hoe. No, nigga, because she's a dirty nigga. That's why I'm not. No, no, sir. No. That's why it's always crazy whenever we go to these fast food establishments. Now, some of these fast food places, you don't get to see who they're cooking. <laughs> but watch us black people when we go to these establishments and you see, we see who, we always looking to see who cooking back there, nigga. Real nigga spit. We always want to see who cooking back there because we got to take a survey to be like, man, is that nigga clean or not? But if you don't want to hear it, get your fat ass get out of here. If you don't want to hear it. That great in some places, a snack or two cook, a nigga can surprise you. He could be cold-blooded. That nigga could be Gordon Ramsay in that hoe, killing it behind the grill. But no, nah, I no cigarette-smoking nigga. Smell like mildew, nigga. I'm not eating your shit, Cuddy. <laughs> now, oh, wait, wait. Now, let me retract, though. Cigarettes. Now, the only time that's acceptable when a nigga, smoke, a nigga that smokes cigarettes or whatever, because I, I don't like people that smoke cigarettes that cook. But the only time that's acceptable is if a nigga behind the pit. Y'all know it's true. If a nigga behind that pit and he's smoking a cigarette, that bitch gonna be fire. <laughs> 21. He said that nigga on that pit and he got that uh, cigarette on a little like this. And he holding that hole up like this. And he told you like that. That nigga's a multitasker. <laughs> Ah, triple refresh. I'm telling you, he know how to keep that smoke in his mouth away from the smoke that's in the pit. <coughs> Take skills to be a pit master like that. I don't give a fuck what nobody think. I'm him. Let me down in the comment section below and let me know your thoughts on that situation. Do you have a, a phobia of eating other people's cooking? And and is it, or, or is it just me? I've always had a phobia of other people's stuff, period. I remember even back in, in, in elementary school, I couldn't even eat breakfast seeing the lost and found. I <laughs> see the lost and found on the stage. That shit used to make me throw up. Nigga, this is like a garage sale, bitch. I'm trying to eat oatmeal, and it's a garage sale up there. And that's, I would see, like, poor poor white kids, they would go up there and they'd be trying on coats and shit like that. And I'd be like, oh, nigga, 
Whatever it's got, that shit got lice or whatever on it. <laughs> oh, hell no. Bed bugs and shit, nigga. You over there putting on an oatmeal coat, nigga. Get that bitch on. Nigga. It's just me. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. That's why I don't. That's why I don't go to no garage sales. Nigga, I'd be damned if I'm going to garage sales. I ain't bougie, nigga. I just don't. Mmm. When I ain't had no money, I still had sauce. Mm -hmm. And that's all I gotta say about that. I got a phobia of other niggas cooking. And yes, I got a good look at the nigga at Freddy's that cooked my steak burgers and stuff. And that nigga clean is I can tell. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> he did a good job on that. So, shout out to the cook and Freddy's, man. But anyway, yeah, I'm just telling you. Be careful out there. Be careful. Don't everybody cooking ain't good cooking. And just because just because you work with them or just because they friends of friends don't mean you can trust them either. You don't know what people's intent out here in these streets. Especially if you work with them. <laughs> but anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching my Smash Burgers from Freddy's Mukbang video. I hope you guys enjoy it. It's your boy RDR. And like I always say, man, hey, look, food is a gift. So please give thanks. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the like button share and uh, I love you guys and thank you so much for watching my uh, videos on my channel always welcoming more new people Shabar to y'all sign up out of here God bless y'all take care already love you guys we'll see y'all soon God bless y'all and good night